in this one we are going to learn how to read and write data into r as far as r is concerned comma separated values or otherwise called as dot csv files are the most convenient form of data which can be easily brought into r and as well as exported out of r so to do that i will set up my working directory first set working directory So that's my working directory. Inside my working directory, I have some files for a sample. So the first file is the file we are going to be importing, sample file.csv. What it contains is a set of eight variables. These are my the, the first line is my header followed by some values separated by commas. So that's a .csv file. To import it, we use the command read.csv mention the file name here it is sample space file dot c s v and i am putting it into a object called a now a should contain the file it's as implied now if we check the class of a we can find it that the default format it gets imported in is data frame now a can be any data frame that you create inside r itself now we will try to write it into another file. So we do that by write.csv. The first argument is the name of the data frame that we want to export and the second argument is the name of the file. I am calling it as exported file.csv. I haven't run it. Okay, now we should have exported and you can find exported file here. It is exactly the same file as we had imported but there's a difference as you can see there is a first row included here one two three four five six in the first column why that comes is r by default will write the row names when it exports a data frame so we have an option to turn that off that you can do by adding another argument called row dot names I will give it as false. Just F capital F will do. I'll close the other file. Now export. Go back. The rows are gone now.